Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Sephora Playbox. Um, I have been getting this since April, I believe, and at first I wasn't totally sold on it. My April box kind of sucked, if I'm going to be honest, but I think they've really just been improving every single month and I've been enjoying them more and more every box that I get. So I thought that this month I would kind of do a little review on it. Um, I haven't used any of the products, but I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about what I thought and what I think about if it's worth the ten dollars that you spend on it uh comparison to birchbox which is the only other subscription box i've ever gotten but um yeah i have already snuck a peek i was gonna make this an unboxing but i just couldn't wait i have zero patience when it comes to makeup and i just had to open this up so let's just get right into it so if you guys didn't know every box comes with a little magazine that tells you what's inside and it also gives you a little play pass where you can get 50 uh, beauty insider points and a little like play date so basically you go into Sephora and a worker there will tell you like will show you how to apply the products and you know how to use them to their full potential so yeah I have already looked at this a little bit not too much I don't really pay that much attention to these to be honest but I do use the play passes so when you open the box you get this little Josh drawstring bag and this is the first time I think that it's been kind of different usually it just has play on it so this time it's a little pink popsicle and I don't usually keep these um I might keep this one because it's cuter I uh, just put jewelry in and stuff because I tend to have a lot of these but yeah so I'm just gonna reach in and see what we get so the first thing in here is the honestly I have forgotten what is in this box so it's kind of a surprise for me again the we way I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, hair care wave spray. So it looks like it's just a weight, weightless texture mist for effort, effortlessly chic undone hair. Um, so I'm going to see what the little magazine says. So yeah, this is just a lot like the Not Your Mother spray, or I think I've used one by Charlotte Ronson as well. These are huge. I do love them. I am a diehard fan of the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe spray. It might be interesting if I did kind of an update on what I thought of this stuff. I've been kind of thinking of doing more review-based videos just because I know I don't do a lot of those. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Next up, we have the Nest Fragrances Citrine uh, Perfume. It's a the dewy softness of lotus flower and freesia are set against sparkling citrus notes and hints of precious woods. Um, it's in a really cute little box. Uh, yet again, it's just a little spray bottle. I am just happy that it comes with the little pump because I hate the ones that don't. I don't use them. I do have a ton of these. I think this has been a perfume sample has pretty much been a constant in every single one of the Sephora boxes that I've gotten, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I'm just not totally sure if I need them, but they are good for travel and stuff. That's nice. Um, ooh, actually... I do really like that. I'm not usually super into floral scents, but that's really nice. Okay. I like this. Great job. Next up, I'm super excited about this. Um, this is one of the things that I've wanted to try for a while, and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the pore minimizing one, so it's the lavender colored one. I've wanted to try this for a very, very long time. Um, I've never really wanted to bite the bullet and pay I think it's like $35 for a full size one just because I wasn't totally sure if I was going to love it. I do kind of enjoy the Smashbox, like the oil free, just normal version of this. I did get really, really sick of it though. But um, yeah, I did really want to try this out. So I'm very excited. I do have rather large pores. So this is absolutely perfect for me. Next up, we have the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with red clay, removes excess oils, unclogs pores, and purifies. Safe for sensitive skin. I've heard great things about this. I am very, very excited to try this out. Um, I love First Aid Beauty. I use their moisturizers. I've used some of their cleansers in the past and stuff like that, and I've never been let down. I've always enjoyed what I've used, so I am hoping this will be the same. Next up, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. This is such a huge cult following. People love this bronzer. Um, I already have one of these little things, so one of them may have to be decluttered, but oh my god, it does. Ooh, I probably just got bronzer on my nose. 
that's embarrassing, but it does smell amazing. Uh, this is a little bit deep for me, which is why I'm not totally sure I will keep it. I think the milk chocolate would probably be better suited for me, but I should probably give it more of a chance than I've given it in the past. So I'm excited to try that out again. And the last thing in the box is something that I was also super excited about, but something I wasn't totally sure I wanted to bite the bullet on just because it kind of seems a little gimmicky, but I've heard good things and then I've heard kind of bad things. And it is the Blotterazzi by Beauty Blender. Um, it doesn't come with a little case and I wouldn't expect it to, um, which is probably why you spend the money to get it. But it's the little sponge, the little blotting sponge. And I love Beauty Blender. That's what I use to apply my foundation every single day. And I have been very interested in this. It also comes with a little liquid blender cleanser, which is very nice, very handy. But I've wanted to try this. I go through blotting papers like nobody's business. I use the Clean and Clear ones. And I just thought this was a really interesting like idea. I know you have to like clean it all the time, which may not be the most, you know, handy thing for me because I tend to forget to clean things like my brushes and my beauty blender itself, which is disgusting. I know I need to be better at it, but hopefully I can keep up with this as well. So yeah, that is my Sephora play box for the month of July. I am really, really happy with it. It might be one of my favorite boxes. I'm definitely really excited about the Smashbox primer and the Blotterazzi. And the First Aid Beauty Cleanser, I think I'm going to really like that. But yeah, these are two things that I definitely was interested in buying anyway. So it's really nice that I just paid 10 bucks and was able to, you know, try things out. And I definitely think it's worth the $10. Um, the first month, I don't remember what I got in the April box, but it was not worth $10. And I was not happy at all. But ever, ever since then, they have really stepped up their game. And I'm really happy with what I've gotten. Um, I think with Birchbox, I had Birchbox for about two years and every month I was kind of just like, meh. I didn't have a lot of months where I was very excited about the products. I mean, I definitely did get some things that were nice, but I was never like blown away or like, oh my gosh, I have to keep this box. And I did try it out for another three months about a year ago. And I still just was like, this isn't for me. So when I got the email to join Sephora Play, I jumped right on it um, and I'm really, really happy I did. So if you are looking to join a subscription service, I think Sephora Play is like a really way, good way to do that because in like what I've seen from other boxes they're either more expensive or they're kind of kind of letdowns so I think this is definitely a great value for your money and I would highly recommend getting a subscription. So yeah that's all I have for you today. Comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!